the Post Game Lounge presented by Xfinity. Xfinity, your home for the most live sports. I played everything. I played, my first sport was soccer. I thought I was gonna be Pele. <laughs> that was really my favorite sport. And it's weird because a lot of uh, shortstops have played soccer. I think it has something to do with us being highly coordinated, the best athletes on the field by far. <laughs> I wanted to be an airplane pilot. <laughs> my, mom, my mom worked for TWA and I had this fascination with going up in the comp, cockpit whenever I had a chance and uh, I, I thought that's what I wanted to do. So I'm glad things worked out because I don't know if you'd want me to fly an airplane <laughs> or be on my flight. <laughs> People are shocked by that. It's like, no, nah, man, I, I love it. I grew up in the water and you know, I raised my kids in the water and that's my, my thing. And, and living in Malibu, it's like, I. I'd rather surf if, if I had the choice. Yeah, clean play is something I, I sat around and you know just came up with. Playing through the air, I, I played through uh, a lot of negative associations with you know steroid air. And I said, well, what if we were to find a way to cut it off at the high school level? Because I think all the progressions are based on talent as far as going to the next level. It goes from high school to college to pro. I said it has to start at the top, so I asked players to volunteer to say and pledge that they're going to play clean. And then at the high school level, we'll educate them about the dangers of PEDs. I love to watch all sports, you know, especially even now, is, to me, it's like these athletes are getting bigger, stronger, faster. Uh, basketball is amazing to see guys like LeBron James, Kobe, do what they do at their height. And then football, and you see the speed on the sidelines. It's just, it just has a deeper appreciation of a true professional athlete. I'm a Clipper fan. I, I grew up a Laker fan, but after Showtime, I was like, uh-uh. It's been a long run. It's been tough, especially being here in L.A. and, you, you know, everybody's a Laker fan. Like I was there when you could just, you might get in the game. That's how it was back in the day. You sit on the bench, you're sitting close enough, they might ask you to go in the game. So <laughs> I was a Clipper fan when they were that bad. <laughs> Africa, my wife's in Africa, and I, I want to go. <laughs> uh, Brazil, I probably can't, you know, uh, that would definitely have to be a wife's trip. I mean, she, she's made that very clear. Uh, there's no single trips to Brazil. My single buddies, I, I would agree to that and say, okay, I'm with that. I think winning the World Series in 2007, <clears throat> it was a little different for me because you know, I, I envisioned being an active part. I was there, there's a stop gap for Lugo. Being able to observe from a different perspective was, you know, something I, I appreciated. I didn't think I would say this, but it was like a gift for me. Crunchy, yeah. As long as it doesn't mess up the bread. Sometimes if you spread it too hard, it'll tear up the bread, and that's not good. But if you spread it, you know, with enough, with enough uh, peanut butter and cream, then it's good. 